March, we went to Rhode Island to film a documentary with Sam High. So I thought it'd be interesting to get to know more about Sam, uh, because not many people know much about him. He's a bit mysterious. He's a bit unwieldy. I'm just really hoping that this isn't going to be a struggle. You know, I, it's a different energy. I was definitely going into the whole thing like super nervous. I'm going into sort of a world that I don't understand at all. I know nothing about the guy really. Good to me, man. Uh, to yeah, me. so as we're going to the office, we run into like a random 19 year old guy who's like, oh, hey, I dubs. I was like, well, I don't know who this is. This is very confusing. Turns out he was just a kid that Sam had hired to come film more parts of the documentary. So that already took me by surprise. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I wish I had a, I have a car, but the battery's dead, so my grandfather's fixing it up and everything. Okay. So. What's up? Whoa. What's up? Yo, yo, yo. What a place. Oh. Did you guys knock before you open the door? Should I pat them? Or? Oh my god. Yeah, no, they're okay. Hey guys. What the fuck? Uh, there were a lot of computers, a lot of people. Uh, the security guard, he was doing this whole routine, being very serious the whole time. It felt very tense. So I was a bit, I think, confused and put off by there being so many people in this room. This is our, this is the, uh, we call it the master station. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is where we get it done. Yeah. You guys aren't doing this every day, though. Yeah, every it day. doesn't look like this yeah, all the time. Yeah. This is a show, right? What, what do you mean? The, the mess? Oh. Well, no, just all the people, all crammed. Like, what, what, what are you, are you working on? Yeah. Josh is... is I'm not a writer. writer. I'm the narrative yeah. director. But these guys are full-time. Joe's my audio guy. Julian's my editor. Evan does 3D models. Oh, oh my god. What's going on, man? Hey, thank you for doing this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You don't care if you're docs or what? what? Oh, 385 Columbia Ave? Hey, stay away. <laughs> hey, get any cute girls out there. Don't be coming by 385 Columbia Ave. I'm shy. Uh, I do. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Because you're obviously got a bigger viewership. Uh -huh. And it's like your brand, uh, you can't be messing around with people who are like unsafe. Have you ever been in a Tesla? A Tesla? What are they, fast? Uh -huh. Tesla speed? Tesla motor. That's why it's so fast. It's got the Tesla motor. It's got the Tesla motor. Yeah, I don't have life insurance. I literally know what I'm doing. Like I would never go past like 80% on public roads. This thing's not registered. <laughs> when I was driving this thing here, it just shut off in the middle of the highway. That doesn't give you any sort of anxiety. If you ever get anxiety, next thing that happens, you fucking die. Sounds a lot like my dad. I'm like, Dad, just say anxiety. Just say the word. He's like, no, that doesn't exist. Your dad's a wise man. I think it might help for the uh, for the viewers. When you say something like that, if you're serious, yeah. you say 100% serious. 100% serious. <laughs> Baby, Sammy, serious. You fucking retard, so now you know. So you don't have to guess because you're autistic. So you need a picture book guy to tell you when someone's in a mood. Here's an angry face. Ah, here's happy. Okay? Get your guidebooks out so you know when people are in different moods. You fucking retard. There has been times where I can't tell, you know? It's like uh, when you talk about uh, women a lot of the time. Mostly serious, yeah. Okay. I'm not misogynistic, I don't like hate women. Women are like super dangerous. Three ways that you're really super fucked up. One is women. Two is with uh, uh, being a bad driver. Three is with um, going to college, like making making life decisions based on somebody else's expectations. Those are like the three big ones to really like turn yourself into a perk head and like fuck your shit up. Oh, and drug use too. This thing is so fucked. Can't believe we live. Fuck. Day one, I was obviously on edge. Sam is a very unpredictable person. A lot of Sam's comedy seems to be rooted in him trying to rile people up. As you can probably tell, I can hardly contain myself right now because today is the day we get to bully Leafy. It seems like he says things that are either taboo or just kind of edgy. We are very fucking stupid to hold the word nigger at this colossally high standard, whereas Every other slur, that, that can be used in a comedic sense or an editorial sense, but not this one, because that one has history. 
Well, guess what, fucking retards? All the other ones have history, too. There have been many infamous Sam Hyde moments where he tries to harass or get the attention of people like Ethan Klein or Lena Dunham. Say nigger. Assuming it's all just for exposure or he's trying to goad these people into embarrassing themselves. It makes it very confusing to have a conversation with him and get his actual feelings about a particular topic. Because so much of Sam defaults to sarcasm and irony, it was really hard to know if I was getting genuine responses to the serious questions I was asking. I'm gonna guess you're single right now. No, I got a girl. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, hey, trust me, buddy. She's 100% real. Great A and B. When you get a load of her pussy and her ass, you're gonna be squeezing your legs together saying, Hail Mary, brother. One of the few things I was actually looking forward to on day one was meeting Sam's girlfriend, Danny because, you know, if I was gonna have a hard time breaking through Sam's comedy wall, I knew that Danny would be the solution to that, how Sam really is, and all the other questions that I had. At least that's what I, I hoped would happen. Hi. You're Danny? Yeah. You look anemic. But... Anemic? Yeah, a little bit. We look alike, though. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think we Let do look alike. Hat. Yo, uh, Sam, what are you working on? So I like, thought you were uh, bald. You no. Why is your head so fucking big? I got a large cranium. It's uh, weird. It's part of my genes. Maybe you just have like a really large skull. I don't know. I don't know. Have you like weighed your head? Uh, I have not weighed my head, no. So. Oh, well, I haven't like weighed my head without the fluid in it in like a while, but yeah. Oh, um. The environment was very. Uh, uncomfortable as a whole. Talking with Sam, you know, he's he's very forward and he, he's got a big personality. The rest of the guys there were very weird. The whole environment was weird. But when it came to Danny, it was just sad. Um, um, okay, so yeah. If you just like stop smoking, your blood pressure goes like all the way down, can't you like give her up, you know? Like, mm -hmm. boys just stop falling for you guys. I really didn't know how to feel. I would say that the rest of the guys made me medium level uncomfortable. Danny made me extremely uncomfortable. I have more. You wanna see my tattoos? I feel like a dog sitting on the floor. <laughs> At that point, I feel irresponsible just like talking to her. It felt like we need to get her help or something. I'm basically a storm. Yeah. Same height, we're the same height. That's true. I thought it was going to be a lot colder here. It is very cold. That's not too bad. What color is it? Uh, it'll be brown, I think. No, that's like yellow. Green? Green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. I thought y'all got in a wreck. I was checking the police scanner. No. Uh, Dan, can you stop trying to fuck iDubs? All right, uh... Sorry to interrupt you, I'm gonna check all the entrances. All right, go back. Wait, let me know if we're clear to use this door at some point. Right, right. it's locked for now, but I'll let you know. All right, all right. Think it, dream it, do it. Can we get a chant going? Think, Think it, dream it, it, do it. it. Think, Think it, dream it, do it. it. Think it, dream it, do 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 it. It feels, I guess it feels more like a cult. <laughs> when they're doing this chanting and everything, and, uh, you know, Sam gets to be the leader of the cult. Hi. Before we continue with the documentary, I want to take a few minutes to talk about irony. This is the circle of irony. At the top of the circle of irony, you have sincerity. You can answer with uncertainty. You have to explain it to me! If you have to explain a joke, that is no joke! I think eating shit is awesome. What the fuck? You like eating shit? I was just kidding. Are you stupid or something? Well, now I feel bad for being unaware of any irony going on. So in the future, I will not criticize you for anything you say. I am now invulnerable to criticism. 